Yeah, well, here you are. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> I told you that, that, that tape costs thirty six dollars, dude. That's like <laughs> that's a lot. Like, like that's like me for, for a reel of tape. That's like nothing. Like I was really. You're gonna you're gonna ship it to me? Like I don't have to like, leave my bedroom and this is gonna show up on my front door. <laughs> The studio has been here for quite some time. Uh, I, I believe, if I'm understanding everything correctly, that the studio opened in uh, 2004 under the guise of uh, Chris McLaughlin, who ran it up until just a few years ago. Uh, he moved to New York five years ago at this point, and it didn't really make a ton of sense for him to be operating a studio in New York, living in New York, and then also maintaining and operating this place in Boston as well. I guess the timing worked out in such a way where my existing studio at the time, things out of my control, uh, landlords and the nature of that routine, um, wasn't able to continue my lease there, needed a new place to work. We had a couple of mutual friends and it worked out in such a way where I was able to jump in here, start working under Chris's uh, guidance for a while, and then eventually, within a year or so into working here, he uh, passed the torch, so to say. So because, um, what is it, it's the fire code, fire marshal, that guy, he seems to have opinions about how fireproof this building should be. Should and be more fireproof? Or it, apparently, according to him, it should be more fireproof. So. The owner of the building, nice guy, he made it more fireproof, he added all these sprinkler systems, the whole ordeal. When it was being worked on, one of the guys, nice person, would come in and he would tell us, every day when you come in, he's like, I need to check in on Homeboy. Homeboy, how's Homeboy doing? I was like, who the fuck is Homeboy? Like, I don't know about Homeboy. And then one, like, this is probably three or four days into him explaining this to me. He comes over here. It's like, homeboy, he just point, doesn't explain any further. He just points. <laughs> homeboy, how's homeboy doing? Like, he's still there. What is it like being here? What is it like interning here? Like, well, it's definitely a really enlightening um, learning experience. I have, um, a much smaller scale operation coming out of my own apartment. So anything that's not available to me there would be available here. And uh, there's many situations that I will not encounter in my apartment that I will hear. I play in a band, I write my own songs, and write songs with the band and another band. Um, and I've been playing music since I was about 10, 10 or 11. I got a guitar and I'm kind of just winging it. Immediately before it was the studio, it's my understanding it was a movie theater. Late 80s, early 90s, I don't know exactly where the time frame comes, you know, falls in. So it was a movie theater immediately before it was a recording studio. And then um, before that, it, from, as I understand it, from 1867 when the building was actually constructed uh, to about 19, I don't know, 1985, 1996, somewhere in that time frame, uh, when it became a movie theater, it operated as a uh, Mason's Lodge, like Freemasons or whatever. I honestly, perhaps I'm a little bit guilty of not knowing much about the Masons being in such a space, but I don't really know anything about the Masons other than the fact that they know how to build a building, and it sounds really, really good. Cool. I've been sound engineering at some capacity for, I guess at this point, it would be most of my life. My father was an auctioneer, 
had large amplifiers and big speakers and guitar amps and that type of thing before I really knew what that meant. I was probably not more than 10 years old when it was like, hey, make sound come out of that thing. We're gonna worry about the other stuff that really matters, like as long as people can hear us. So I kind of had access to not good equipment by any means, but something that made, I had a way to make shit louder pretty early on.